There's relief in sight for struggling businesses decimated by the $100 million Scarborough redevelopment. The beach will reopen this week and cash handouts are on the way. But for some, it's too little too late. Hardly beach weather, but that's not the reason Scarborough is a ghost town. Work on this iconic strip will finish on Sunday, not soon enough for local business owners. To have you know, this end of Scarborough Beach back open uh, to the public is... Uh, yeah, it's going to be, a, yeah, as I said, a really important milestone. Getting to and from the beach has been nearly impossible now for months. As a $100 million redevelopment slowly takes shape, the lack of foot traffic is killing business. At least two shops have gone bust. As a government project, it's a great idea, but it's too slow. No customers meant Jim Sade had to close his Il Gelato ice creamery. Across the road, Boho Espresso has also gone under. Jim says he's lost a quarter of a million dollars. He's one of 20 local business owners to apply for government handouts. They'll get a 50% discount on land tax. In a future time, they should take more wisely to people who's going to be affected around their project. Planning Minister Rita Safiotti is looking into the way businesses are disrupted by government projects to try and avoid future pain. Businesses near Elizabeth Quay eventually received cheaper rent while that project was underway. The difference here though is that this land is privately owned and these businesses answer to their landlords. Scarborough businesses will find out in the coming weeks if they'll receive the handout. The entire project is due to open in January. Michael Genovese, Nine News.